My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Bright in the Edge. Welcome. Today I'm out photographing a couple of covered bridges. I'm visiting a couple I've never seen before. I'm out here just to try to wrap up a covered bridge zine I've been working on, on and off for, for a while. And I really just need a couple more shots, I think, to, to have enough for a zine. And I didn't realize there was a couple that were in a neighboring county that were really pretty close to where I live. So. Today I'm out here checking them out. I'm uh, currently shooting this one with 24. I was sh when I first got here I was shooting with the 20, and right now the front element is pretty wet, so I uh, I'm switching over to an older 24 that I've had for a while. I'm using my Nikon F5 and Ilford Delta 100. Of course, now the sun's a little bit too harsh. <laughs> There's plenty of clouds, so probably more rain coming. For the rest of the year, I have my goal is to finish two zines, and this covered bridge zine will be one. And then I've got another project I'm I'm planning for this summer, and I'd like to have it done by fall. That second zine, I, f I thought it might be kind of fun to do a do a. Uh, making of a zine, do a series. So 
from the shooting of the content to the some of the layout, some of the editing, from basically the process from the beginning to the end. So my next uh, zine will be after this covered bridge. So my next zine will be on a area, a park that I, it's, it's really not too far from my house. I wanted to do a, a place that uh, wasn't too far away that I could visit quite a bit. And I want to put a, a, de a deadline on it. I want to have it done within a certain amount of time. So I figure, well, let's let's make it a summer. Let's a summer project. And at the end of the summer, I'll hopefully have a zine to show for it. We'll print it sometime in the fall. The making of the zine project will all be shot on black and white film. It'll all be made with 35 millimeter. I want to have all new fresh images for this project. Well, I was hoping for some clouds to roll by here. I don't think I'm going to get that. <laughs> These are pretty basic bridges. Um, they're, they're lovely, they're nice, but they're not in a setting that is all that photogenic. So I, I probably won't get more than one or two shots from from these cover bridges out here, but I, I think I think I'm pretty close and that's probably all I need. Did I show you my new little uh, gadget here? I picked up a L bracket for this F5. When I bought the F5, I, I knew that it was gonna be pretty heavy so I knew that if I uh, wanted to shoot anything vertical, this was going to be pretty valuable. Because tilting my pan tilt head up like that, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of weight. It'll uh, it'll definitely slide. This is really my heaviest camera. Most of my other cameras are fine without this bracket, but I thought for this for this camera, it's, t it's time to uh, get with the program. So. There's my new, I think it's, uh, I can't remember what brand it is. It wasn't cheap. I was actually a little surprised I could find one to fit this camera. This will actually fit my um, Nikon D810 as well. I should have had one of these a long time ago. But this will be a pretty valuable piece of kit right here. So while I'm at it, I might as well just end this video right here. Like I said, it's going to be a short one. I'll show you a few shots of these bridges. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. Hold on, David. Not so fast. You still have a couple frames left. Well, I've still got a couple shots left on that roll. So I'm out here at the lake before the water, before it's full. They're uh, in the process of filling this lake. I'm going to shoot some of this shoreline because in about a week it'll be all the way up to here and it'll, be, it'll look a lot different. Right now we got some weather blowing in, of course. I hate to waste even a couple, a couple shots if I can help it. So Nori and I are going to see if we can find something here in the last couple hours of the day. And I might need to find some cover. <laughs> Hopefully this rain will blow over. Well, let's get into this tree. Uh, it's hailing right now. We're under a tree, but it's not a real thick tree. Probably should find something a little more substantial. <laughs> Boy, it's really, really coming down out there. No, I mean, this wasn't such a great idea. This is uh, nature photography in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> I know, it's not easy this crazy. Springtime kind of brings us uh, volatile weather. I knew this was a possibility. And Nori's gonna, gonna shake it off. There you go, girl. 
She don't seem to care. But uh, once this blows over, maybe we can find a photograph. I uh, have the uh, F5. I'm not too worried about it. But it's still, I don't want to get it wetter than I need to. So, <laughs> it's an old camera. Well, that's sad. Well, that's unfortunate. I, uh, a couple of years, about a year ago, I came out here and photographed this stump. It had a little tree growing in it. And some idiot decided to light the stump on fire. And killed the tree. I don't know why people have to be so destructive. There's really no reason to, to light that on fire. Just being assholes. So I can lit a couple of these stumps on fire. Yeah. That's too bad. I was looking forward to watching that tree try to make a living on that stump. If I had that photograph handy, I'll, I'll put it on here. I was kind of hoping to photograph it in this inclement weather. I thought I might document the life of that little tree. But as you can see, that's that's not going to happen now. Well, after about an hour <laughs> being pummeled by weather and uh, looking around, not really finding much, I finally come across something that speaks to me. I just love the uh, the uh, form, the shape. I've been waiting for the light, and the light is here. Just, I'll be right back. Things happen quickly out here. <laughs> the light came and it went. I, I don't know if that's, that light's gonna make that much of a difference, but I do like the, the texture it was bringing out in the shadows, so. We'll see, I'm using a 20 millimeter Trying to get some of the sky in. It's fairly interesting today. I wouldn't mind it. I think the sky's got a lot of drama. I think it'll add to this this shot, a little drama to it. I'm just not sure. I only have one more frame, so I either have to load up another roll or make my last shot here. And I, I'm running out of time, so I'm just probably gonna make this my last shot of the day. I'm not gonna have a whole lot. <laughs> whole lot of photos in this video but this is actually going to be a bonus anyway I just even if I have like two frames left I, I'd still like to go out and see if I can find something to fill those two frames I like how this speaks to time it's just a really good uh, way to illustrate time in a kind of a creature-like way <laughs> These, these things, how the water has uh, eroded all the dirt underneath the roots, kind of reminds me of uh, little creatures. Yeah, I don't know why I'm a sucker for these things. I'm going to probably get one more frame on this. I, I might drop down a little lower. I'm not exactly sure if I, if I like a higher angle on this or even lower angle. I'm, I picked one that, that just felt natural. Now I'm going to try either a low or high angle, and we'll see which one is best. Well, I'm going to only have one frame left, so it's either going to be high or low. <laughs> and then we'll be done. Well, that's the shot. Last frame. Hopefully one of those two will, will work. I uh, was trying to... There's a line at the back of the lake. I was trying to keep the stump, the top of the stump from encroaching into that line. That's being a little anal, I know, but sometimes the little details make a difference. Nora and I snuck off, so we probably should get back. I don't think, I'm pretty sure my wife doesn't know we're out here. <laughs> 
just had to get those two two frames exposed. I just couldn't let it, you know. You just can't leave it. Every frame has potential, you know. So this time, we're really ending the video. Until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.